They said that the, a fawn or a doe of some type is stuck between two fences, so we'll see if maybe we can help get him out. My name is Nicole, but most people who know me call me Coley. I'm the only female in our whole district. Every time the phone rings, every time I see someone in public, you know, it's always sir first, because they expect to see a guy. It's pretty interesting how often I have to say, hi, my name is Nicole. I always wanted to be a police officer, but once I learned what a game warden did, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. How you doing, ma'am? Nicole, Hi, nice Nicole. to meet you. Let's go in this OK, day. awesome. She's between those two fences. Oh, yeah, right she's here. right there. OK. Has she let you walk pretty close up to her? OK. It's all right. I just wanted to see how nervous it was. Sometimes if they can't see you, they won't kick as much. Tight space you got in. She's just going to lay that for us if we can get down in there. I figured I'd be able to just pick it up if only I can get down between the two fences. Yeah, you're probably a little skinnier than me, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. Reach down there. Let's try that one. Oh, whoa, 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 watch out. Her legs hurt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do that. See your leg? <sighs> try to just pick her up from the middle and see if we can just lift her up to me. <sighs> watch your legs. <sighs> well, it looks like both of her legs, hoof area are broken. You're not gonna try to jump out of there, are you? That's all right. She got a nice little house there. I called the rehabber, especially with the injured deer. It's good to be able to see one that we can actually try to help, you know, instead of just going after the fact or it being too late. It's been an a industry that's, that's blown up in this area. So we've kind of made it a point to check every single deer breeder every two years. In Texas, a lot of people are trophy hunters. People breed these deer to be the biggest and the best buck that they can hunt. How's it going? Nicole Leonard, good to meet Hi, you. Nicole. Welcome to Stillwater for Ranch. I appreciate you home. letting us come out. This facility tomorrow. has more than 100 deer, so game warden Michael McCall will assist. I think we got to be cautious going down and be careful with the uh, approach to these animals. Okay. Because we Basically, what we come out here to do is check our records to what is actually in the facility. So we have a system where we know every deer that's supposed to be in the facility and basically come out here to make sure what's on paper is actually in the pens. I got QH4X on this one. Gotcha. Here, baby. Let's see if I can see some. As we're going through, we're, we're throwing out corn for them, and it, which, which tells me that people are actually in these pens a lot working with them. You know, uh, they aren't being neglected or anything like that, which is great for a facility like this. There's one of the albino ones. Oh, yeah. See right there, the, the bright white one? It's actually a buck. That's awesome. That's really cool. I've it's never that. seen one like that. When he was uh, younger, mm -hmm. he was more aggressive. He was going after the other ones. Mm -hmm. And you would think that they would kind of sort Gang of up on him. pick on him. But he was he was going after the others. But now he's learned to Play settle along. down and not be so aggressive. He's just one, so of, the, he's, one yeah. of the herd. Yeah. Oh, but he's neat uh, looking. I don't think they can see as well. I think oh, yeah. that he has trouble seeing. He gets all spooked a little bit more easily than the others. Everything looks good to me. I don't know. Yeah. That's good. Everything's in order. You know, doctors are coming out, veterinarians, everything's being recorded. He's got all of his fawns and his does together. Um, all of his bucks, yearling bucks, or older bucks are all together. So he's got everything spread out nice. It's a pretty good facility. Great. Anytime you need anything, give us a call. I appreciate it. I'll take all the help I can get. No, for sure. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Anytime. Back in Comal County, 
Game Warden Leonard responds to another deer call. This time, it's a potential poaching. That would be perfect. So I got a call from some Union Pacific guys about the deer dumped right behind one of their railroad properties. He realized it because there's a bunch of vultures hanging out, you know, and he said it was bothering him. He wanted to, you know, let us know that someone's hunting back there and leaving the meat. Poaching is absolutely a huge issue all around Comal County. Most of the time we don't get much information because people are waking up in the morning and finding the deer. Our job as conservation law enforcement is to protect the animals, make sure that people aren't thinking that they can just break the law, you know? I mean, there's fines involved, there's jail time involved, so it, it, it absolutely is breaking the law, and we wanna, you know, we wanna try to catch these guys. I don't know how much is left of him. Yeah, no, I understand. It had to be from this weekend. Shot, or? I didn't see any exit wound. Like, maybe somebody took it with a boat. They cut off the, the antlers, and that you could see it a cut along the back where they cut out the back strap. So um, it's obviously been poached. Someone tracked it just to get the, the antlers and back strap and left the rest of the meat. I'm gonna see where these guys could be coming in from. There might be some footprints, you know, where there might be a blood trail. Uh, you can see where they've been doing some feeding. Huh. Yeah, in that mud pile. I mean, hell, this is probably their seat right here. Yeah. We at least know, hey, it's happening in this area. We need to patrol this area. Maybe we just sit out here at night and see if something happens, see if there's any suspicious trucks in the area. Thanks, guys. Thank you, man. Tonight, we're going to stake out the area for a few hours, see if anybody comes along, get any visitors. I'm pulling into the area right now. Just gonna black out. You absolutely have to think about how a poacher would approach the situation, you know, it, where are they coming from, which, how are they gonna hide themselves? It looks like something right there. Just trying to figure out what that is between these trees over here. Look like I saw some something between these trees. Someone is down here. I'm just coming up here to make sure. See if they were supposed to be up in here. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you were just, hey, man. It's the property owner. I came up here earlier and I told them I'd come take a look around every now and then. I'll get out of your way. Good to see you, man. You too. After making a loop of the property, Game Warden Leonard doesn't see any suspicious activity. There are times where we might be out, someone gets a little suspicious and thinks that someone's uh, watching the area, and, and that's good, because deterrence, that works too. 